Well, hi, I am out and about. Um, so yeah, I am in the Walgreens drive-thru pharmacy thing. Oh, you can't see it, but it's right there. Um, anyway, but I went to a couple of places to stock up on a few things. I had a list that was, I don't know, maybe only like 20 things. Like it wasn't, like it was like little stuff that no one's looking for right now, but um, like shelves were just so bare. I have everything not in here. I have it in my trunk right now. So I stopped at Aldi and uh, stopped at Target. And then when I was loading my stuff in the trunk for Target, I realized that my Aldi, like I just got like a half a gallon of milk, was spilling all over the place. And it was like leaking from the bottom. So I didn't notice. So whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, I could have gone back to Aldi and asked for a refund, but to be honest, the lines were so long that I was like, I don't even care. Um, so I tossed the milk it at Target, like, you know, like the bins outside. And then um, I went over to Cub, which I needed a couple other things there because I couldn't get everything there. Um, and then I just picked up another half gallon of milk that was not leaking. So I checked it. But yeah, shopping is really eerie, like especially in Aldi, like no one was talking to each other, which I totally understand. But like, it was just very like, get your shit and leave. Um, and that's what it was like at like every store. It was really um, strange. And then like Target had like no paper products, like whatsoever. There was no paper towels. There was no toilet paper. I mean, I don't know what y'all are doing with the toilet paper, but like, holy moly. So yeah, I did need to get some Kleenex. So I found like a pack of four. So I picked that up but I would have been fine if I didn't find it, but it was one of the things on my list. Um, so anyway, I went to Cub after that, um, got the last couple of things I needed, and then now I am at the drive through pharmacy. So yeah. Oh, you guys, this is like, it's like stressful to go out. I don't know how you guys do it that have to, you know, go out into the world during this time. I mean, it is stressful at home too, but it's like, it's weird. It's weird when you're out. I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but I just, oof, it was strange. Like you could, you could like see the stress on people's faces. It's just a very different thing that I've like never seen before. Walgreens just texted me saying, hey, come pick up your crap. So um, I waited until uh, like there was three, I think there's three prescriptions for me today. Um, three prescriptions rather than like leaving the house several times. Um, I just figured why not just leave and do that all right now. So ooh, it's my turn. So anyway, got my Walgreens stuff, which is good. And I am going to head home because my hour long break that I thought I was gonna have has now become like almost two hours because of the lines. But anyway, um, I will log back in when I get home and I will work. So I will see you guys in a little while. Bye. Uh, hello people of the internet. Whoa, let me take these off. I'm like, I've got marks on my nose now because I've been wearing them for hours. Um, yeah, so I just got off the phone with my mom and I had like a team call thing as well. It was like a little, it was like a happy hour, but I was still working as it was happening. And it's uh, a little after six right now and I clocked out at six. Um, yeah, I didn't talk to my mom for very long. We just, she was wondering if, uh, she, cause she had mailed me something. I wondered if it had come in yet. And I said, yes, I actually got it this afternoon. So. Friday, it's been a long day. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do for dinner. I think I'll make something maybe. I don't really know. Yeah, I have to organize like my pills and stuff too. I might just do that tomorrow because I've got all weekend to do that, you know? So anyway, Doyle is down there doing his Doyle dog things, which is lounging, you know? Lounging a lot. That's what he does all day. I wish. I had that boy's life for sure. But it actually felt good to get out of the house today. Um, 
I mean, I always take him on a walk and stuff too, but it felt good to like get in the car and drive even though it was only for a couple of miles. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I'm st I'm still feeling very uh, stir crazy because this is now my third complete week of being home and social distancing. So I'm, I'm going a little batty, but you know what? It's gonna be good to, you know, stay at home and all that good stuff. You know, I have the luxury of staying home, so um, if I can help by just being at home, then that's all good. Um, I saw something like, you know, all the all the memes, and or like I like to call them, I actually call them the memes, um, because I am old. So <laughs> anyway, uh, so I saw a bunch of like, interesting memes going around or maybe this was like a tweet or something it said something to the effect of the people that aren't doing the social distancing and like still hanging out with like friends and family and um like you know people they don't like live with directly it's like you don't realize the longer that you do that the longer we all have to do this <laughs> so it's like just stop and then we can like you know what they say flatten the curve is that what it is flatten the curve and then like you know, we'll be hanging out together sooner then, you know? So anyway, um, but yeah, but I think I'm gonna call it quits here. Um, I'm not making anything interesting for dinner. Maybe I'll make something interesting this weekend. Maybe, I don't know, maybe not, I don't know. So yeah, how are you guys doing? Let me know in the comments. Are you and your family going stir crazy? And also, what are things like in your area? Um, I live in Minnesota. I'm wearing my Minnesota State Fair sweatshirt today. It is probably the brightest thing I have in my, um, you know, arsenal of wardrobe choices. Um, but yeah, I got it at the State Fair several years ago. Several years ago, maybe four or five years, or four years ago, something like that. Um, but yeah, so how are you guys doing? Um, Minnesota is doing well, I think. There is a lot of information out there, and I need to probably watch the news here, um, like, you know, like the 10 o'clock news or something tonight, because I kind of avoid it, and I shouldn't avoid it, but I just want to get, like, the right information rather than, like, seeing a bunch of memes, you know what I mean? Uh, but, you know, people are trying to keep it light, which I totally appreciate, um, because we're all in this together. So let me know how you're doing in the comments below. I'll be back tomorrow um, for some weekend content. And um, I actually do have a regular, like, planner video that I wanna share. Um, I still haven't even edited it at all, um, but it's like my medical uh, planner. And I've, used it for several months now and I love it and I use it every single day um but this was like I filmed it back in January when I first got it and like kind of how I was setting it up I thought you guys might enjoy that just for a little break and uh yeah so uh that's it for today I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and um let me know how you're doing in the comments below and I will chat with you all tomorrow bye guys well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah.